Well, here I am. I'm not going to San Diego Comic Con, but I'm looking at the scheduled panels because it's interesting to see what is going on, I guess, what the discussions are about. And let's be frank, I need a con, <laughs> something to talk about for a video. Uh, so, Comics State of the Union, the Blue Age of Comics, the Blue Age. I looked this up everywhere, could not see anything on the Blue Age of Comics, but it's kind of depressing that we have to call it the Blue Age of Comics. Like, the Copper Age of Comics, the, like, I could literally think of any other color, uh, metal, precious metal, un the tin, the tin period of, co but why the blue? I, do, this is, I don't, don't understand. Um, we'll, we'll see what comes out of it, if anybody's really gonna call it. As far as I know, this is still modern age comics, um, and I don't know that that'll necessarily change, but that's okay. So the, this is what we're com competing against, though. This is... It chapter two the trailer and uh, I actually didn't see it the first one but I watched this trailer and man it looks epic like not just a horror film it looks like something and I don't know like more than a horror film it, it's epic um, I'll play just a little bit of this okay emotional moments let's watch something scary here how about that face, huh? Yep. Don't demonetize this video or claim it. That was just a little clip. So, uh, yeah, it looks amazing. And it, it gets me realizing, if this is the Blue Age of Comics, which is meaning that you have to compete against all these other mediums that are destroying it, they're crushing it, uh, you know, films have their ups and downs. There's some really, really great ones that do well, and others not so much. For television, honestly, television's doing really well. There are a lot of great uh, TV shows out there, and you can sift through the garbage ones, and there's still a lot of really creative things, well done things. This is just one example. I, I've, this is just my reaction to the trailer there. Uh, but comics, what does it have going for it? Well, I've actually been looking at some Golden Age comics lately uh, for a variety of reasons. And one of those is, if we're talking about the Golden Age of comics, we're talking about Red Rooster Golden Age. Now, uh, Red Rooster was done by the Brightweisers, Mitch and Elizabeth Brightweiser, and uh, it sounds like they're getting really close to getting this thing finished. They are late on their book. And uh, I was late backing the book, but I did back it. Uh, $190,000, 3,421 3, backers. That is insane. Very, very good for them. Uh, but I did back it and I was lucky enough to get this. I backed it. I got an apology <laughs> for the book being late. Now, if you think about that for a minute, had I had they not been late with the book, I would not be getting the book. So I will say for those of you who backed it early, the apology is obviously for you, and they, they did some nice things for you. This apology is nice. It was not for me. Uh, in fact, I'm actually just glad I was able to jump in and get it. Uh, they said, Dear Red Rooster's customers, as we continue crafting Red Rooster Golden Age, Elizabeth and I would like to offer each campaign supporter a personal note of apology that the project is taking longer than we had anticipated. We are sorry. We made mistakes along the way, and we learned from them. All right. Uh, and they go on to, uh, you know, mention some of the things they're, they're doing and, you know, a really, really nice gesture. This is actually, this right here is professional. I'm going to do this like, like you boy, Zach professionalism. Okay. This is professionalism. Absolutely. Uh, they're, they're acknowledging that their book is late. They're, they're giving you an apology for it. Even me <laughs> who just backed the book and I don't deserve an apology. I should be thanking them. Uh, <laughs> but I still got it, but I'm not the only one. If you look on Twitter, you'll see all sorts of announcements of people that got a postcard, a physical postcard with what I assume is the exact same announcement on, uh, that, that I got in the email, but they got this slick looking art. And if I look at the, the bright wisers, if I search it on Twitter right now, I am only going to see basically this postcard from everybody. 
everybody is really stoked about this gesture. And I will say with that many backers, this probably, it wasn't necessarily very cheap for them to send this out to everybody. It's, uh, it's shipping separately. Yeah, it's just a postcard, um, but it's still like getting it printed and getting it shipped to all 3,000, whatever, however many backers they had. That's a lot of backers uh, to be apologizing to and sending a card. Very, very good. This is something, again, like credit where credit's due. That is very good. Very, very good. Uh, so great job to the Brightweisers. Um, now, if things were not always this way for the Brightweisers. I looked on Twitter to see what, what kind of buzz is going on. Most people that don't like the Brightweisers also don't like me, so they've blocked me. Uh, and actually, that's kind of nice and peaceful. But the Brightweisers were absolutely, um, they were the targets of a lot of harassment, and I would defy anybody to say otherwise. Uh, they absolutely were because of their, um, you know, comic skate. Uh, now they, they put out this book. They did very well. They were going to go to a convention. This is such an insane thing to me that comics can get to this point where people are willing to, uh, threaten, uh, you know, personal attacks because they disagree with somebody, not just disagree over somebody, disagree with somebody over politics in comics. You think about how insane that is. This is insane. Uh, so this was this was a while ago. Let's see, August twenty ninth, twenty eighteen. We're almost up to a year now ago that this happened. Uh, this is uh, Elizabeth Brightweiser, and she says, due to concerns for our personal safety, uh, Mitch Brightweiser and I will have uh, canceled our upcoming appearance at Lakes International comic art festival the show is going to be awesome and we are very sad to miss it be excellent to each other yeah i've used that exact same gift too a relatively <laughs> same same reason too so this is this certainly is upsetting and i think a lot of people realized this is when a lot of um things got real for a lot of people it wasn't just about arguing online it was you argue online enough and you demonize people enough. There are going to be a select few number of people out there who are upset enough, angry enough, and crazy enough uh, to do something in real life. This is honestly, we're just this is insane. Um, having said that, I am really excited to read their book. It looks great. Uh, and here is an antagonizing tweet. Am I on board with people identifying with a hate group and profiting from the association while getting no public blowback from it? Question mark. No, not really. Am I on board with people pointing that out? That's fine. Not at all on board with threats of any sort. None were made there. Yeah, I, I'm not on board with any threats, even though you weren't threatened at all. This is, uh, this is insane. Uh, and of course it gets worse. Well, if the bright words are now anticipating something similar to the harassment, uh, and video attacks I've experienced, oh, boy. you know, there, there is a difference between, there is a difference between, uh, making videos that are critical, uh, or even making videos that make fun of and call names as opposed to, uh, emailing somebody, calling somebody up, sending them a message, whatever it is and threatening to hurt them physically in the presence of that person. There's a big difference. Most people recognize this. Not cool. And, you know, even people like most people, even like uh, Mags Visaggio recognize that that is uh, not cool. <laughs> and it, sound, it seemed like they had a positive exchange. Uh, so that, that's good. Uh, I wish that more people would could agree upon at least that much that this is insane. Uh, but something that we can agree upon is that Red Rooster Golden Age looks amazing. I'm really looking forward to the future, not just because of this book, uh, one of many books, but because of what this what this means. If we go back to the original uh, email that I got, here we go. They're, uh, they've got more plans. <laughs> they've got more plans. This is Allegiance Entertainment, I think it was called. Yeah, Allegiance Arts and Entertainment. They've made much more out of this than just a book, than just one book, or so it seems. Things are moving forward. They're doing more. I'm really, really excited for the future. Blue Age of Comics, 
I don't think so. I'm looking forward to a new golden age of comics. But let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. Were you there a year ago when all of this madness went down? Does it seem like things are getting any better? And did you back Red Rooster? Because if you haven't, you are seriously running out of time. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.